Well, we're half a lap away, folks, from getting our first lane auto heat underway. Jim Williams on the point in the number eight car. Jason Vermilio alongside, that's row number one. Here we come up here to number four. Robo here on the start. Dale Benton goes low in the infield in car 22. Caution Blank is gonna be out. Brad Harden almost getting involved in that 52 car, so we'll slow things down with an early caution in our first seat race for the late models. Here's the green flag. Oh, we caught everybody sleeping on this one. It's a man with Vermilion and Williams. Williams goes to the front in the eight car. Jason Vermilia. Back down low in the second spot. Battle for third shapes up between number 10, Chad Hunt and 28, John McDonald. Williams starts to fall away. Trouble. A couple cars out of spin down to turn two. Jason Vermilia in the 13. Johnny McDonald in the number 28. Now everybody clears it nicely on the outside. Here comes your leader out of turn four to be Jim Williams. Jason Vermilia back in the second over Chad Hunt. Here's our good two car battle. Ray Turner in the 12 car motors his way up to fourth. Craig Foster on the move now with car 23. Now up to fifth place. Up in front of him, he's got Turner running fourth, Chad Hunter running third, Jason Vermilia second, and here comes your lead car, Jim Williams in the A machine. Williams once again starting to drift away from the field. He's got a big lead over second place, Jason Vermilia in the blue 13 car, and Chad Hunt. Oh, we're going to stack him up down to turn four. Fourth will be Bruce Vance in car number 42. Terry Hill starts fifth in car 38. Jack Taylor brings the field by in turn two. Rokas getting bounced around in the one car. E.T. Schneider goes back in the lead. Rokas back to third. Vance goes to fourth. Terry Hill still fifth. Josh Schneider. In the 18 car, up in front over Jack Taylor in the number 7J. Ray Rokas in the third. Good battle for a second. Rokas up alongside Jack Taylor now for a second. Coming off turn four, it will be Rokas.
Scott, Jeff Delane first over, Mark Cossie, Earl Ingram comes up into third place. Mike Ballo takes up that fourth spot. That is big black Bob Flynn over Mike Bensky and Bob Grace. Cam's done, going away in number 11. He's already got about three or four car legs. Distance over, Mark Dossi for first and second.
Hey Turner, car 13, Chase of Vermilia, a 15 lap for the C feature. First and second move on, the rest of them call it a night.
with just a couple laps remaining here in our late model C feature. The rookie late model driver uh, having a tough time getting adjusted to the high power late models after a few seasons competing in our street stock class. Green flags back out on our C feature for the late models. Get 
for Rob. Third, fourth, and fifth. Larry Otteridge, Earl Ingram. Play model feature event, and with next time through, 30 laps of feature action. Hayes Scott right his way to the infield. Blade holds the ball center. It's going to bring him into turn number three. On the outside is Dave Hatfield in car number 52, and here we go.
six-seater gets second over. Mike Nichols, Bob Glenn. Brett Bennig, Mike Powell, Don Hawley, Bruce Vance, Mike Penske, and Tim Stott. A nice round of applause for Eric Spangler. Boy, Eric, what a show out here. I think that's the best feature we've seen in a long time. You and you and Frank gave the fans their money's worth tonight. Yeah, I could hear Frank back there that whole time. Um, we tried a off-the-wall setup and heat race, and it worked really good. And we left it in for the feature. And um, at the beginning of that feature, I kept down the brakes the wrong way, and I started making the car push. And I figured it out about three quarters of the way through it, and then it got a little faster for us. He kept setting you up in turn three and four. He'd go high, then he'd go low. And I'm going to ask him about that here in a second. Um, any, what was your favorite spot on the track there, Eric? High side, low side? Well, of course, we run the low side here most of the time. It's the shortest way around here. So um, since he took the banking out, there's, you can't carry enough momentum up high, I don't think. Well, I'll tell you what, great feature tonight. And uh, why don't you thank your sponsors for us real yeah, quick. I'd like to thank Scott McNamara, a &L Training Post, um, Ace Hardware, uh, Kristen Clock Repair. I'd really like to thank my crew, um, Mark. He works with me every week, um, all during the week. That's when the real um, labor of these race cars take place, and he's also there every night. And thanks a lot for your help. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your two-time feature winner this year, Eric Spangler. I'd like to make a special announcement. Rose Conroy died this um, spring. She's a long-term fan of me and Real Rocas is, and um, she's up there watching us. So thanks. She's a fine lady. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Spangler, tonight's feature winner. The 12-time defending track champion put on a show out here just as good as anybody. Frank Cedar, wow, slingshotting up in three, coming low, high and low. You look like you had a lot of fun out here tonight. Yeah, uh, me and Eric was uh, having a heck of a race. Well, I'll tell you what, I know it's early in the season. This is going to be one heck of a season for a championship. you got a chance to win a 13th championship. He's got a chance to win a second Merritt Speedway championship. And you got Nichols finishing third. That's a heck of a car count this season here. Yeah, there's a lot of good cars. Uh, most of these cars that make the A-Main can win any feature at any given time, so to finish in the top three or win, it's a kind of a privilege. Well, I know we got a, a second place trophy for you. And uh, Frank, how about a sponsor plug real quick? Yeah, I'd like to spon uh, thank Pine Tech right here out of Lake City, Ideal Manufactured Homes, uh, Sterling, uh, Homestead Motorsports, Don Roberts out of Gladden, House Mill a lot, Hank's Bar of Elger, this ball forestry products. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finished second. Frank Cedar, car 34. Give him a nice round of applause. And a former three-time champion out of Bailey, Mike Nichols. Good to see him hooked up in the old four car. Mike, good to see you back in our top three at the Merritt Speedway. Thank you very much. I want to thank my wife for letting me come tonight. First, with all my sponsors, Freddie Bliss built this motor. He's here tonight. Hope he has some luck as I did. Well, he built a darn good motor, and uh, he's going to be a contender. He's won here before in the 15 car. We'll be looking for him uh, in a few moments. And uh, Mike, how's it make you feel to be back at the front again? You had a couple rough years here in the past, and uh, you could have won this feature just as well as any, any of you guys in the top three, maybe four. Uh, it feels good. I'm still quite rusty. I haven't raced a whole bunch the last couple of years. Uh, the car's good. I built this car especially for me to get comfortable in it. I have been comfortable the last couple of years. Well, we're coming along. We'll be okay. Well, I tell you what, a strong contender, a former three-time champion. Ladies and gentlemen, third place, Mike Nichols. Give him a nice round of applause.